Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce our featured speaker for today's event. He is a renowned expert in the field of sports medicine and rehabilitation, a trusted physician and consultant to professional and elite athletes across the world, helping them stay in the game until they're ready to leave on their own terms. With extensive training and experience with certifications in various treatments and therapy protocols, he has become a reliable expert in his field, as well as a thought leader and influencer in athletic injury recovery and performance. His deep passion for his work and a commitment to excellence has earned him widespread recognition and respect. With his sports medicine practice based out of Colorado, he frequently travels to treat and consult pro and elite athlete patients across the country and is sought out by athletes as far away as New Zealand and Saudi Arabia. Please welcome this true maverick in the field of sports medicine and rehabilitation, Dr. Jim Weathers. Thank you very much for the introduction. Uh, with, with your permission, I'm going to uh, lay my hat here a little bit so uh, I can see you all and you all can see me. Uh, as she mentioned, uh, I do a lot of sports medicine work and I do work with pro and elite athletes. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, as, as she mentioned, uh, we've gotten so known for some of the referrals that we actually do draw them in from around the world. And we use biohacking as a way to help facilitate that uh, healing much quicker. And so at the level that those athletes are, they have this mentality of not performing is not an option. So um, I had a case recently uh, where I, I, it was an emergency call. I rushed into the hospital and it was a patient who had a knee injury that was the size of a beach ball. I mean, it was, and I, I, was, I was rather you know, curious about the injury, and so I asked him what happened. He actually was a contractor, and he was taken out a wall, and he missed the wall with a sledgehammer and hit his kneecap. Yeah, yeah, you guys are, you're, you're there with him. Um, and so our first uh, reaction, of course, is trying to make sure it's not any fractures, but it was too swollen to, to do any x-rays at that time. So what we ended up doing was trying to get the therapy uh, in a way to draw in that uh, inflammation and swelling to bring it down so we can get some x-rays done. And so what we ended up doing was we did some biohacking techniques on him and the next day we sent him into the hospital and the swelling had gone down so much that the doctors at the ER thought that the injury actually happened two weeks prior, not 24 hours. So we had great success with that. Um, it wasn't broken, uh, God, uh, God uh, really made a miracle there. But what, uh, what was interesting is that we now had him back to do physical therapy and rehab. What is interesting is that most physical therapy rehab protocols for his injury would be about three months time. First month, not being able to do much weight. Second month, maybe getting some range of motion, maybe a little strengthening. Third month, starting to do some more of the conditioning back to what he does as his job. We did that in about three and a half weeks. It was amazing. He came to me and he said, Doc, he goes, listen. He goes, I was really scared because I'm the only uh, provider for my family. You know, it was, for him, it was because not performing is not an option as well. And I want to tell you, that is why I work and try to educate other doctors to do what we do. We're not trying to keep it all to ourselves. We want others to know the techniques. And that story always resonates with me because not performing is not an option.